Now we're going to publish our application to Google Play. First, we need to mark our application as a paid app. Click on Publish. Now, if you have an iCache Secrets Buzz Apps developer account, you just simply need to enter your name and the email address of your Buzz Apps account and click on Add Application to My Dev Account. Then, within an hour, your application will be marked as a paid app. So, an hour later, when you return to the dashboard and refresh the page, it should look like this ready to publish. So now click on ready to publish and then click on start submission process. We're going to do an instant build and publish that to Google Play. It says in under one hour. In actual fact it only takes a few minutes. Click next and now we're going to upload the icons we created in part one. So 36 by 36 open. We've already got the 48 by 48, the 72 by 72 and the 96 by 96. And click on upload. Now we just need to update the splash screen. For that I've quickly prepared an image which is 320 pixels wide by 480 pixels high. And I called it Tin Pan Alley Splash. Upload that. And now we can move on to the next step. We'll add push notifications in the next video, so for now we'll leave this as disabled. Click on next. We can leave most of these permissions as they are. Full internet access, we'll be using the internet. Approximate network location, yes that's useful for the maps. Precise GPS location, that's needed for the GPS coupon. Modify and delete contents on USB storage, yes I believe that's needed for the RSS feeds. View network connections, yes is needed for meaningful error messages. Read phone status and identity. For click to call, that is necessary. Record audio. We're not recording any audio, we can take that out. Take pictures and video. The QR coupon scanner needs to be able to take pictures. So we'll leave that checked and scroll down here. The rest of these refer to phone gap and we're not using phone gap at this time, so leave these all unchecked. Click on next. Next we need to give our application a version number. It starts at 1.0 and we'll increment this every time we update our application, say 1.1, 1.2 and so forth. We also need to give it a version code that starts at 1 and we have to add 1 to that every time we update this application in Google Play. So next time it will be version code 2, version code 3 and so forth. We already have an application name, Tin Pan Alley, and I'm going to give it a package name and normally this is in reverse domain name order, for example com.buzzapps.tinpan Alley, like that. Enable resource synchronization. If we want the application to be updated automatically as we update on the app builder, leave this checked. If you don't want automatic updating, uncheck this. I'm going to leave this enabled for resource synchronization. Enable apps rotation. If you want the application to rotate when you turn the phone on its side, for this app I'm going to leave this disabled. Click on submit. Request process complete. You have successfully requested a build of your app and in a few minutes we'll receive an email with a link to our app to download it. Click on Done. If you haven't already done so, you need to register for a publisher account with Google Play. Step 1. Visit the Google Play Developer Console at play.google.com slash apps slash publish. Step 2. Enter basic information about your developer identity, developer name, an email address and so on. Step 3. Read and accept a developer distribution agreement. Step 4. Pay a $25 US registration fee. Once you've set up your Google Play account, you can use this link to log in and then upload your application. So first log into the Google Play Developer Console and we're going to upload our new application. Now I've already downloaded it from my email. I'm going to give it a title and it's called Tin Pan Alley and we're going to upload our APK file. Okay, so click on upload your first APK. Now we're going to browse for the file. The download will come as a zip file. In this case it's called tinpanalley.zip. I've unzipped that and inside there is app-release.apk. This is the application file we're going to upload to Google Play. Click open and now it's uploading to Google Play. Okay, now the application has been uploaded, it's listed here com.buzzapps.tinpanalley. Next we update the listing. I'm actually going to add another word to this 
Tinpan Alley, Tainan. Just adding that extra keyword for people in Tainan who may be looking for a bar or restaurant in Tainan. Okay, I'm just going to copy across my description, paste it in there. We'll leave the promo text. And we've got no changes to make yet. Okay, add screenshot, drop image here. On newer Android phones, to take a screenshot, you just have to hold the volume down and the power button at the same time. If you've got an older Android device, say pre-Android 4.0, you might find that holding the home key and the power button at the same time will give you a screenshot. First press the home button, then momentarily press the power button. So I've just quickly taken some screenshots using the app Previewer, and I'll just drag them in here. The first one's the home, and I thought I'd also take the GPS coupon, and a picture of the map, and maybe the Facebook page, and what about the menu? and the game and the QR code scanner and the more tab, why not? Now we just need our high resolution icon which is the 512 by 512 pixel image that we prepared in part 1 okay, and this is also a PNG file now we just need to choose our application type it's an application, it's not a game although it has a game in it, category I'm going to put this under business. Content rating, everyone. For website and email address, it says please provide either a website or an email address. I'm not going to put an email address in there because it'll be spammed. So we're just going to have the website address. And in this case, I'll just leave it as buzzapps.com. But you might want to put it as a business website. Privacy policy. No, we're not submitting a privacy policy at this time. Okay, so scroll back up to the top and click on save now we go to pricing and distribution this app is free I'm going to select all countries marketing opt-out, I'm going to leave that unchecked content guidelines, yes this meets Android content guidelines US export laws, check that if you believe it complies with the United States export laws Okay, so now we're done with that, and we can click on Save. And now this button shows Ready to Publish. So let's click that. Publish this app. Okay, and now we're published. The application has been published. It may take several hours for it to become available through Google Play. Okay, we're done. In an hour or so, I'll download it to my phone. So here's our app in the App Store, Tin Pan Alley Tainan. Here are the screenshots we took. There's the app description. We'll touch on install. It's going to ask us about storage, location, hardware controls, phone calls. As we had the permissions set when we created it. Now accept and download. So that's going to download now. And when it's finished doing that, we'll be able to test it out on our phone. Our app is finished downloading, so let's open it up. the splash screen this is the first time it's loading so it's configuring itself okay so it's loaded let's try the directions map and directions okay now we've got the GPS coupon. Now to unlock that, we we'll touch there and then touch the check-in. Now it's going to go to Google Maps and find out where we are. Okay, so it's not going to check us in because we're obviously not in Tainan at the moment. The more tab about us, the menu. Thank you for watching.